You have a question? Okay, I have a quick story for you and then we're done. So there was a guy, you guys can sit by, you can just, you don't have to write this down. And then Louie's going to be like, you should have written it down, man, you should have written it down. So there was this guy, question? Oh, you ever had your hand up? Okay, cool. So very quickly, guys. So there was a guy, he went to um, Costa Rica, and he, he was a young guy. He was about 14, 15, and he always, always, always wanted to surf. And his parents like, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, it's if it's the resort. So he gets there, and he sees a sign that says surfing lessons. And he's like losing his mind to get in the hotel. I got to go, mom. I got, no, we got to unpack. Okay, unpack. Okay, we got, no, you have to eat first. He eats, okay, well now you have to wait an hour before you eat, because you just, before you swim, because he's like, oh. So finally he's ready to go. And he sprints down to the water, and he sees this little cabin, and he sees like this Mexican or Spanish or South American guy in the corner sitting there in this little cabin. And it says instructor right across the board. And he's like, this guy looks like a total surfer dude. He's like, I'm gonna go and learn how to surf. So he goes over and he says to the guy, is this, is this where I surf? And he's like, Yes, sir, amigo. And the guy looks, and all the surfboards are lined up against the wall. And when he picks the best, shiniest, newest surfboard, he checks everyone out, and he see, eyes one. He grabs it, and he goes out, and he looks at the he looks at the guy, the instructor, and the instructor doesn't say anything. He's like, "Well, I guess I'm allowed." So he takes, he starts looking. And he goes, "Can I?" Goes, yeah, go ahead. So he goes out, and he gets, he paddles out, he paddles out, he paddles out, and he tries to get, and he falls. And he's going to get up and he tries and he falls. And this goes on for an hour and a half. And he doesn't like to wear sunscreen and his mom, yet, but he even feels that his back is on fire. He's been out there for so long. So he comes paddling in and he looks over and the surf instructor is still sitting in the corner, laying back on his chair the same way he was when he got down to the beach. And he's like, why is this guy not helping me out? Like he's the instructor. He looks like a surfer guy. So he comes in with the board and he slams it down and he looks at the guy and he's like, are you the instructor? And he's like, yes, amigo. He's like, well, this sucks. Like surfing, I, I only can't even do it. He's like, okay. He says, amigo, can you put your board up? So he puts his board up and the guy stomps away. The next day, I'm going back down. I'm going to try this again because I'm so committed to getting what I want. I'm going to go down and I'm going to surf. I'm going to get it before I go home. He gets down. He checks out the boards. Now, the one that he saw yesterday is gone, but there's one a little bit smaller, and this is red. And he's like, this looks like a sick board. So he grabs that board, and he sees the same instructor in the corner. He says, can I go? Yes, amigo. And he goes out, and he paddles, and he paddles, and same result as the day before. And he's falling, and he's falling. He comes back in, and he slams the board down, and he walks up to the instructor, and he says, you're supposed to be the instructor. Yes, amigo. He says, well, I've been out here for two days, two days, and look at my back. I've been laying, I've been falling, I got salt water in my eyes, my eyes are burning. Like, why don't you come and help? He says, well, amigo, you never asked for help. And the guy, he says, what do you mean I never asked for help? Like, uh, you're the instructor. And he says, amigo, I don't know, I don't know what you need. He goes, well, I need to surf. He says, well, I'm the instructor. I can teach you that. He says, well, why didn't you teach me? Well, amigo, because you never asked. So he says, well, then can you help me surf? And he says, yeah, I'm going to surf. Okay, I'll help you. So they get up. They look at all the boards. And he says, I, I, I want this one. And the instructor says, okay. So out they go. And now the instructor's out kind of in his, in his, up to his waist and he's holding the surfboard. And the guy's getting a little bit better, but still no results. He can't surf. He hits a wave. He loses it. He falls. Slams the surfboard down. Goes back in. Says to the instructor, this is a waste of my time. I'll never be able to surf. And he says, oh, yes, amigo, you can. He goes, well, what's wrong? He goes, well, amigo, you're using the wrong board. He goes, well, why didn't you tell me? He's like, well, amigo, you never asked. He's like, okay, well, which board should I use? He says, well, amigo, he says, those boards are for stand-up paddling. Those aren't even, the surfboards are on the other side. He's like, well, why would you let me take these? He says, well, you never asked. You're just walking around. I, you think, you, you know what you're doing? I'm relaxing. I'm having a little siesta. She says, well, can you help me pick the right board? 
So he says, sure, amigo. So they go around the back, and these boards are like beaten up. Takes a board out. He runs out into the ocean. He's like, I finally got it. Woo! I'm going to surf today. And he gets out there. Same result. He's falling everywhere. He comes back in. And now the instructors come out to the edge of the water. And he slams the surfboard down in front of the instructor. And he says, okay, I asked for help. I asked you for the right board. I've gone out into the water. I still can't surf. And you're not even helping me. He says, well, amigo, he says, you never put wax on that board. He says, well, why wouldn't you tell me to put wax on the board? He says, well, because you never asked. She says, well, can you help me put the right wax on? So they go to the back of the cabin. They put the right wax on. They walk out. And now the young guy says, I want to surf like a guy that I saw on TV. And this guy went out on these waves and he surfed and he was like a machine and he was down and he was cutting through the waves and it was unbelievable. And he was going fast, but, but he was in such control. It looked like he was hardly moving. And the surfer, surf instructor says, I can teach you that. And he says, you mean three days? You had all that knowledge? And you could have taught me? And he says, well, amigo, for three days you had that vision and you never shared it with me. So how was I able to teach you? So the moral of the story is, guys, if you want something bad enough, you have to be willing to ask the questions. You have to be willing to do what it takes to find the answers for you. So that when that guy goes out on the ocean, that he has the right board with the right equipment, he's being taught the right things, and he's in the right atmosphere with the right leadership to get to what he wants. Because in your life, you guys need three things to succeed. You need the leadership, you need the knowledge, and you need the resources. And as long as you bring the passion, as long as you're that surfer that's willing to do whatever it takes, and as long as you're willing to share what you want and ask the questions and find the leadership, find the knowledge, and find the resources, you now have a shot. Because if you can keep doing that over and over and over and over, you have a shot at filling yourself up at a level that none of these four ever, ever come back into your life. And that is what you need to commit to. If you're serious about getting to what you want. If you're committed to doing whatever it takes, whenever it takes, to be the best version of you, then you have a chance at being successful. Thanks very much, guys.